Hello, uh, this is One Person Studio here. So this is episode three of my new series on coding game where I just solve um, puzzles, and let's go right to it. So I'm going to start with this um, game uh, called Power of Four. Let's go. So what will I learn? So in this puzzle, I need to compare different values. Okay, I need to compare the character var variables and integer variables. Okay. So, normally it uses eight conditions, but I need to simplify it and use only four conditions. Okay. So, what's the statement? A basic problem which goes a little bit further with condition of variables. So, my program must allow four to reach the coordinates of the light of power in the 2D field, as you can see in the video. So, this is a story right here. So, basically, he's lost all his powers. I need to guide him towards the light of power. To make the hammer whole again. Okay, let's go. Let's solve it. I'm gonna do it in Java because I did it last episode. Uh, so I'm gonna continue doing that. So let's go. I mean, it gives me. Uh, so this is the rules. So he moves on a map which is 40 wide and 18 high. Okay. So once the power, once the program starts, I'm I'm giving the light x. I'm giving the X position, the Y position, to start in X and Y position. Okay. So this is the, the map. Okay. So I win if he reaches the light of power, but I lose if he moves outside the map. Okay. So uh, this is how you do it. The initial phase, round one, round two. Okay. The game input is important. The program must first read the initialization data from the standard input. Okay. Okay. Line one, the four integers uh, indicates the position of the light. Alright. The number of remaining power remaining moves for four to reach the light of power. Okay. I can ignore it so it doesn't matter. But I have okay. Right. I'll put a single game round. Okay. okay, where do we start? Mm. I'm guessing we start with the, the while loop. Yeah. So let's start with the string. So I'm going to do a string here. In the start of the x direction first. Um, let's do the start with the so this is going to be an if statement basically. So if if for if the y position is bigger than the light position, um, then the direction will be uh, where does it say? Does it not say? It? Will be n. Will be north. And direction y will be equal to north. And then for y. But else if for y position is less than light y, then the direction y will go south. So instead of a minus one, it will be a plus one.
Oh, I forgot to add the... Uh... RTX. to spell too wrong basically it equals to that one right so now you can't see that any squiggly lines because I sold it because uh, he reads it so plus one now let's do another if statement if for x it's more than So basically, then direction uh, direction x will equal to uh, west. Be minus one, and now we got to do um, else if. Else if for x is less than light x, then the direction x will equal to um, east. So for x will equal to four x instead of minus one, it'd be a plus one. And now I think it says right here it's printed, but instead of the the southeast, I'm gonna print it. What I'm gonna print is direction y plus direction x. So let's check out. Yeah, I think we got all the test cases, but I want to see how how does it do, how does it work. That's it, success. He's reached the flower, the flash of power in time. Okay, let's submit it. Okay, well that's it. Well, thank you for watching this video and. Episode 4 will come soon. Bye.